sometimes that third phase of the game can be a little overlooked, but the Broncos aren't doing that. Special teams, a major priority for this team heading into 2023. Hello, I am Phil Milani, alongside Sidney Jones, the Hall of Famer Steve Atwater, and uh, Eric Dalala down there at the end. Guys, last year, special teams, not as crisp as the Broncos uh, would have hoped that it was. Uh, it could have been the kicking game, the return game. There's just areas where they could have been a little bit better. Steve, how are they making that a priority now? We see these guys flying down the field on special teams uh, uh, in practice. And if you, they're doing that in practice, hopefully the game is going to be equally as fast, if not faster. So uh, they're, they know that it's a priority. Players who aren't starters, guess what? you're going to have to play special teams. And that's going to make us a, a better team, knowing that the guys have that understanding up front. Even if they are starters, huh? Uh, yeah, that's a good yeah. point. Good point. Exactly. Yeah, Pat Sertan's back there as a potential punt returner now. We heard Sean Payton say from the very minute he was hired, special teams is one of those areas where you can get better quickly and it can be a way that you improve your team really fast. And they've done that by bringing in special teams coordinator Ben Kotwika. They have Mike Westhoff, who they worked together in New York for a long time and had a lot of success. And they've got assistant coach Chris Banjo. But this is a group that the focus is on them to to bring people together to buy in to what they're doing and uh, and find a way to have a quick turnaround and, and listen the, the standards are high we heard Mike Westhoff talk during mandatory minicamp he said the goal is to be number one I'm not coming back from retirement to be anything less the number one in the NFL. And yeah, and going off of what Eric said, you know, Mike Westhoff and um, Ben Kotwika worked together for seven years in New York at the Jets, and they were very successful there. And, you know, that there's a lot of great coaches in that room. Again, like what Eric said with Chris Bancho, former player too, and it seems like they have really good communication and they bounce all of their ideas off of each other based on what Kotwika's had to say. And they got a lot of years under their belt, uh, you know, working together. This, you know, you bring in coaches like that when you know that that phase of the game is is a priority, and you know that's the play of the game where the field changes the most. You know, the yardage that takes place on those plays, uh, Steve, it's a big deal. It's, it's a big deal, and you got to make sure that the guys understand how important it is. And if they don't, guess what? You got to change them out and bring somebody else in who believes that. This is a priority. This is my job. This is important to me. I'm going to fly down there with everything I have. And the Broncos, quite simply, the last few years have not had room in the margins to make mistakes like they have been in special teams. If you're going to play these close football games, you've got to be really good in special teams, win those small margins here or there. I mean, the Broncos lost the game in L.A. last year when Montreal Washington fumbled upon return. You, you can't afford – they missed some field goals that could have won them games. You can't afford that sort of thing. You can't – you've got to have better um, attention to detail, discipline, can't have the penalties. All those things have to be better this year. But Ben Kotwika, you know, he did say he likes what he's seen from Montreal Washington out there um, during the offseason program, OTA's mandatory mini camp. He said he likes his athleticism. He likes his, you know, work ethic. He says he works really hard. He'd stay out there all day if he could, um, but he just needs more confidence. Returner is going to be a position to watch uh, for sure during training camp. The Broncos used their first pick, Marvin Mims Jr. You expect him to uh, play a lot in that role there. The other competition everybody's going to be paying attention to, the kickers. Here's what Ben Kotwika had to say during camp. That job is pretty straightforward. The ball either goes through or it doesn't. And so... What was really cool today is to see both guys rise up. We hit a handful of kicks. All of, uh, all of them were made. Elliot made all his, and Randy made all his. So we'll see how that shakes out. Again, it's a, uh, a work in progress, but excited about that, uh, that opportunity for those guys. It's pretty straightforward. Either I went in or I didn't, huh, Steve? Yeah, 100%. It's easy to tell a good kicker from a bad kicker. Uh, and I thought it was super cool, again, uh, how uh, they had finished up one of the practices uh, with a uh, nine-yard field goal to uh, remember Jim, Jim Turner, Turner. Mm -hmm. the Ring of Fame kicker. So, uh, yeah, I, I love the way they're going about business. And But kicker is a super vital oh, position because yeah. uh, – Clutch situation comes, and if your kicker can't step up there with, like, he got uh, ice in his veins, uh, you're going to have problems. But I, I think the process that they're going through, they're going to end up with the, the kicker that can do that. Yeah, got to keep your head on a swivel, I think, if you're a kicker here. Sean Payton talked about they had a kicking competition in New Orleans. Two guys, whole offseason. Got to the end of uh, the preseason. They signed somebody else off the street. Got rid of both <laughs> yeah, of guys. Exactly. Neither of them won it, I guess. <laughs> right. uh, the thing about kicker, though, is – 
uh, you you have such a f narrow focus that when it's time to go out there and kick, the, you you got to be automatic. Yeah. I mean, that's just what it is. It's like, go out and do what you do now. Right. So uh, uh, it's a, a vital position. We'll have to see uh, how things shake out there for the Broncos. That's going to do it for us. For Eric Dalala, Steve Atwater, Mr. Hoff over there, and Sydney Jones, also a Hall of Famer. No slide on Sydney here. I am Phil Malati.